Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to day 11 of the Geek Cupboard's Festive Advent Countdown 2021 and my goodness me, we are absolutely flying through these. It's day 11 already, that's incredible, where is the time going? Right, so where are you little tea pocket number 11? It's not on that first bit I don't think, is it on the second panel? Uh, it's not on the second panel, is it on the third panel? It is not, it must be on the last panel. And there it is. It's this very sort of exciting red one at the bottom. Revitalize. Okay, right. So let's get that out. Let's get this one out like that. There we go. Right. So what do we have here? We have Revitalize Organic, a burst of warming cinnamon, cardamom and ginger. Okay, this sounds very good. This sounds very, very promising indeed, because I like all those. All those things are good in tea. So I have very high hopes for you revitalized tea. So now there is only one thing left for us to do, and that's go to the kettle. And here we are with our lovely freshly brewed cup of revitalized tea. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hang on a minute, Penge, that is not a geek of a corporate mug. What is going on here? And yes, you would be absolutely right. I have timed this extremely badly indeed. And all the corporate mugs are in the dishwasher. They are being washed. And yes, we do have a working dishwasher again. And it's wonderful. Oh, dishwasher, I've missed you. So yes, all the corporate mugs are being washed and are therefore unavailable. But I thought this was a good replacement. The good old TARDIS mug. I've had this an awfully long time. Many, many, many years. And you know, it's a trusty mug. It's a good old trusty TARDIS mug. Weirdly, it fits loads more tea than you might expect it to. Just loads of tea fits in here. I don't quite understand how. But you know what? I'm not complaining. So anyway, the tea. What's going on with the tea? I mean, to look at it, it looks a little bit like a sort of, it looks a little bit like a mix between a green tea and a black tea. I would say it's more of a green tea. But you know what? It's not the sort of, not the appearance that's the big thing. The smell. The smell of this tea. I can smell that tea from there and it's not near my nose at all. So it must smell very strong. I mean, from here, I can smell cinnamon. However, if I give this a proper actual smell, that smells amazing. That smells wonderful. It's just cinnamon. It's just cinnamon all the way. And I like cinnamon. Cinnamon is a wonderful thing. And if it smells that good, I'm hoping it tastes even better. So here we go. Here we go. Let's have a taste of this. I have the highest of hopes for this because it smells absolutely fantastic. So here we go. And that, that is amazing. That is by far the best tea we've had so far on the calendar. Oh, that, hang on. I need more, more. Give me more. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. You can taste the cinnamon. It's a nice, strong cinnamon taste. And you know, I like that. Cinnamon is wonderful. So, you know, it's a really strong cinnamony taste. Uh, there's a hint of the cardamom. It's only a hint, but you know, it's enough. You know it's there. And there's a bit of the kick from the ginger as well. You get a little bit of sort of, a little bit of something from the ginger. So, yeah, it's not overpowering, but you know there's ginger in it. It's... It's wonderful. It's delicious. It's smooth. It's sweet. It's fantastic. I like this tea. This is very good tea. I might have to get some more of this. I mean, there's a few that I kind of think, do you know what? Let's get some more. But this one here, I might actually have to get some more of this because this is very good indeed. I am very, very impressed. Hang on. I need some more. It's that good. Oh, that's very nice. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm blown away by this one. Okay. Okay. No, it's good. It's good. Right. So, I mean, yeah, before I just sit and down all this tea, um, let's take a look at today's question which comes from Alex Peacham. Hello, Alex. And the question is, you always say the geek cupboard is small, but how small is it? And it's a very good question. It's a very good question. So I've kind of prepared for this. And look, along with the TARDIS mug, I have a thing, a tool, as I would call it. It's a tape measure. Now, I don't have very many tools. And well, that's a bit of a lie. I do have quite a lot of tools, but I don't know how to use them. I got them from my dad's place. So there's a lot of things that I don't know what they are. I have no idea. I mean, there's something I've got. I mean, it might possibly be a lathe or it could be something to do with plumbing or it, I don't know, it could be a hammer. I don't know. I don't know what it is at all. So I have quite a lot of tools, but this here, this is a tape measure. I know how these work. I can just about cope with the tape measure. So um, I thought rather than sort of tell you the measurements of the Geek Cupboard, you know, I sort of did it beforehand and then told you the measurements. I thought that we do it like live as it were, sort of live, air quotes, live on this video. I'm going to do it right now. So let's measure the geek cupboard. So it is rectangular. So, I mean, I would say, hang on, let's do, let's do this way first. So from there to there, oh, I've knocked the camera stand. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Minor earthquake. So here we go. Now the audio might go a bit wobbly as I move away from the microphone a bit. Okay. So from here to there, 
is, hang on, let's just do this properly. Let's make sure we get this properly done. So that is, what's that? 100 and, hang on, let's get that straight. It's not straight, it's not straight. Oh, no, I'm not breaking. This is why I don't do anything to do with tools or anything ever. Uh, that is 100 and, what's that, 175? 175 centimetres, or five foot, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five foot nine, if, if you prefer it in feet and inches. So 175-ish, or five foot nine, kind of as I sit, so front to back as I sit. So my, um, hang on, come, come here, come here, tape measure. Uh, my monitor is in that direction, and the door is in that direction. So sort of, you know, from front to back, as it were, so I'm looking at my monitor that way, and that wall is behind me. That was, whatever it was, 175 centimetres, or five foot nine, was it? And then the actual sort of length of the room, so I would see it from left to right, uh, is, hang on a second, here we go, hang on, do you know what? Let's, let's put it on camera, so there's at least something going on. Um, hang on. This might be trickier because I've not got anything to latch it onto over there. So if I just try and push that into the wall and hope for the best. So hang on, hang on. Oh, now the computer's in the way. <laughs> hang on, we're there. Oh, I've just knocked something over. I've knocked over a, I've knocked over a thing. Uh, that is, what's that? So that is 247 centimetres or, hang on a minute, eight foot, what's that, eight foot one? So eight foot one, I think, yeah. So hang on, I didn't write those numbers down. Hang on, 247, eight foot one. I'm gonna get a pen. I'm gonna get a pen and write them down. Hang on, <laughs> possibly should have done this earlier. Hang on, so two, that pen doesn't work. That pen doesn't work. This is going well, this is brilliant. Hang on, do you know what I need? Oh, I've just hit something. I need some tea, hang on. This is what happens whenever I attempt to use a tool. Everything goes wrong and things generally explode. Um. So yeah, so two, four, seven. So what was that, eight foot one? The other one was 175, was it? And that was five foot nine, I think it was. So yeah, so it's it's not big. It's not a big room at all. So yeah, so it is 247 centimetres or eight foot one long. So as I walk into the room from that direction, it's eight foot one kind of that way. Uh, and then it's five foot nine that way. And of course, there's things in the room. I mean, that's not very big on its own, but there are things in the room. There's a desk where the computer is, where I'm sitting right now. And there's a little bit on the sort of side of the desk that pulls out. So I've got a little bit on my right hand side, so down there, where I can um, where I can sort of lean and I can put things on there. Um, and yeah, you know, the desk is quite big because it has the computer sat on it over that way. And then it's got a monitor there and a monitor there. So it's got two monitors and a computer on it. Um, and then there's like a sort of, uh, sort of, uh, it's not really a bookcase, like a sort of cabinet thing over in that direction where there's loads of stuff. There's, you know, paper and geeky things and board games and journals and all sorts of stuff over there and books and such. So that's over in that direction. And then behind me in that direction in the corner is a big bookcase with books on it and Lego and all sorts of other nerdy things. So, yeah, there are many, many things in here. So there's not actually that much room. I mean, in terms of floor space, there is probably even less. So, yeah, it's not a big room. It is not a big room. And um, some people do occasionally ask, is there a window? Yes, there is. In that direction, over there at the end of the room, there is a window that goes out, looks over the back garden. It's all very nice. But, um, but yeah, there we go. So yes, the question was, you said the geek cupboard is small, but how small is it? It is, consult notes, eight foot one long, five foot nine wide. And there we go. That is how big it is. So yeah, not big at all. Not that big at all. I'm surprised it's actually come out as five foot nine wide. It might be slightly less because my measuring is a little bit all over the place. But, but there we go. It's a small little tiny room, but you know what? It's our small tiny little room, and that's absolutely wonderful. So, um, so yeah, there we go. Question answered. I'm going to go and enjoy this tea because this is just fantastic. So I will go and finish this. Hang on, I'm going to have even more. It's really nice. I highly, highly recommend that. It's just very, very well sort of put together. It's well balanced. It's lovely and smooth and sweet and splendid and cinnamony and I love it. Right, okay, I'm gonna go and uh, maybe order a load of this and uh, then finish this one as well. And um, and yes, we shall wrap things up for the moment. So for now, thank you very much for joining me for day 11 of the Festive Advent Countdown 2021 and I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on, Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. 
that looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. 